and call for a wonderful feast, a wonderful banquet, my son, my father exclaimed, clapping his hands and turning from me to Miami. I have jesters and fools and clowns to joke, and I have pretty girls to come and dance. Have the chef cook up some wonderful dishes. Miranda bowed and another time and walked backwards out of the garden. His eyes shone sympathy for me. So that was a sample from my story, Young in the in the Skies of Political Satire. Thank you very much. And I'll show you another sample of my work. Um, it's called Where Books Can Take You. It's um, one of my poems about um, it's sort of based on how books have legs and wings and they can take you um, wherever you want to go. Um, so here's my poem. There's a saga of the Norsemen in my cupboard. There's a book about Zeus by my door. These books take me to Viking fjords and my Olympus and Greece's lore. If I had a volume about astronauts, then into space I could soar, into the galaxy lost and lost, and then I could go back for more. You see, I just have to look at a page, be transported to Greece, whether the book is green, blue, or beige, or is covered in white fleece. I can hear different things, I can taste different foods, I can hear princesses sing in their changing moods. I can meet brave peasants and knights from before I was even born. I can see great majestic sights and ride magic horns. I can be a pirate gnashing my teeth, sailing the seven seas. I could be a maiden wandering the heath, or I could be a boy climbing all the world's trees. Oh, I can go anywhere in a book, to Alaska and Antarctica too. Even while sitting in my reading nook, I can taste a peasant's stew. Um, Your Highness all the time. 